Okay, I've just done the unboxing. It's a good one. Um, I can't remember if I introduced myself at the beginning of the video, so if I didn't, welcome to my channel everyone. My name is Rachel. I'm desperately seeking dopamine and get yourself tucked in with a cup of tea or something whilst you watch this unboxing of the January Lush Box, which is kind of retro, um, blast for the past, nice, comforting, good vibes. Um, and yeah, let me know how your year is going so far and if you've got any resolutions or anything, I'd love to see in the comments. It's really, really nice to hear from you whenever anyone comments. It really brightens my day. Um, so yeah, happy new year, enjoy the video and I'll uh, see you soon guys. Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful start to 2023. It's not 2023 yet for me. I'm doing it, I'm being a rebel. I'm opening the box before it asked me to, or told me to. Let's get tucked in. So this is the Lush Kitchen Box. So it says to be opened 2023 time capsule instructions that's a fun theme warning contents may result in abrupt nostalgia handled with care that sounds so good a lot of what lush is about for a lot of people including myself is nostalgia because sense is so connected to memory um and because they bring in new things and get rid of the old things and stuff you know you do miss the old things so yeah there's a lot about nosh nosh there's a lot about Lush that is nostalgic, um, for sure. So hopefully there'll be some nice surprises in here. The only thing I can remember um, is that this box looks like it's going to be kind of fruity and that it there was the potential for a shower, what shower thing, um, shampoo bar to be in there. So um, yeah, which sounded nice to me, but again, I don't think there's anything I'm desperate for. So I've got my notes here, videos and whatnot, including the notes for February's vote, which I do have high hopes for some of the products, um, and I don't think I'll be forgetting what's on that list um, by the time that box comes around. But yeah, I have forgotten um, all but one thing that was on the vote for this list. <clears throat> so let's get tucked in, shall we? Yeah, tell me in the comments how was everyone's Christmases? I hope everyone's keeping well. Um, yeah, so I was just saying, I hope everyone's had a lovely, there's a bag, there's a bag. I hope everyone has had a lovely Christmas and New Year's um, and is going into 2023 feeling positive and happy and healthy. But if not, um, I'm sending all the good vibes to you. Uh, let's open this box, shall we? Look at this, Unbox Retro Favourites. This is so exciting! And the first thing here... Oh my goodness, this is so cool! Oh look! Look at that logo! It's the old one, oh! Okay, it smells really um, lushy. 100% organic cotton. It's a decent, nice, big tote bag. Can't go wrong with a good tote bag. Thank you, Lush! That's a lovely way to start the new year. Um, what else have we got? <laughs> 2023 is calling. Let's party like it's 1995. This January, we're transporting you back to where it all started, the 90s, baby. Rediscover all-time favourites in this curated time capsule packed with beloved classics from the 90s and early noughties. Get the party started with a trip down memory lane. Oh, oh, oh. I shan't read further. Spoilers. I'm going to unbox this and then read the rest. That's my products list as well. So, oh, I saw another spoiler. <laughs> what am I like? There's a, there's a bomb. There's a bomb. Oh, oh, it smells kind of like Avobath, but kind of lemony. Oh, that smells good. What is it? I don't know what this is called, guys, but it's like Avabath green and then like a Sicilian lemon kind of yellow in there. And it does kind of smell like lemon sherbets. Gonna have to stop smelling that to look into the rest of the box, but this smells really good. This is right up my street for sure. 
wonderful oh 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 i think the top has crumbled off this is this the auntie pamela i think it might be so it's the bubble bar by the looks of things with a crumbled top that's somewhere in there but oh what does that smell remind me of here's an up close look at the bubble bar oh look it i'm matching ha ha fab <laughs> it's the little things guys <laughs> that make my day that smells really good kind of like um silky underwear or keep it fluffy that kind of nice uh, powdery floral kind of smell i'd say but yeah i'll read the description in a bit see if my um assessment is accurate or not where what is this what is this Ooh, starcraft kitchen exclusive facial cleanser oh yeah this was i remember this being on this i can't remember if i voted for this or not um Cleanse the Milky Way. This gentle blend of creamy oat milk and calming lavender rejuvenates the skin for gorgeous radiance. That sounds lovely. Okay, I can't really smell anything at the moment, but I guess you wouldn't expect to with, you know, oat and almond and honey. I'm, that's going to be really nice to use, though, I reckon. Um, you smooth on and massage into skin before wiping away excess with a warm damp cloth or cotton pad that's so handy and a nice little squeezy tube i can just keep that in my um bathroom cabinet um i do already have a couple of cleansers so this isn't like much needed at all but it does sound very nice and used by uh, february 2024 so i've got just over a year to use this so that's fine and i'm sure some of the other cleansers I have a longer life than that, so they can wait. I'll use that first. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I remember now. We got it, guys. It's a small one, but still, we got it. Narcotic um, purifying shower gel. Lavender water brings balance as fresh lemon juice and tea tree oil clarify for clear, confident skin. And I remember thinking this would smell kind of medicinal, kind of antiseptic let's see oh yeah yeah no that that is a fair assessment sort of medicinal and antiseptic you can get that tea tree in there that smells wonderful that is right up my street i wish it was a bigger bottle but yeah that's so that's beautiful yeah i really wish tai tai from november's box and this from january's box were in the bigger ones the happy holiday ones not my favorite guys i've been using it a while and it's a bit it's odd not my favorite let me know if you agree or not. Um, I'd be interested to hear. Oh, this looks to be a soap. Oh, is this, there was a banana soap, is that right? Okay, it's reminding me kind of like of a horse feed store. So not like an unpleasant smell, but just kind of odd. Um, I wonder what's in here that's reminding me of that. Uh, but yeah, this must be the banana soap. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, it feels really melty in my hands. I'm sure that's going to be pleasant to wash with. I might even shower with this one because it feels like it's more on the moisturising side. I normally use these as hand soaps, but I do have a few at the minute from um, sort of bits and bobs I've got over Christmas. Right, is that everything? We've got bubble bar, bath bomb, soap, shower gel and a cleanser. Let's just check if there's anything else hidden in here. I think that's everything. Sort of everything was kind of sat on top. I didn't have to dig much for any of that. I've just got the remnants of the bubble bar that had fallen apart, which I think is rose petals. All right, let's just fast forward a minute. I'm just gonna be tidying this up and then I'll read through the ingredients and things. Right, I shall read the rest of this now that we've actually uh, got past the exciting bit. So get the party started with a trip down memory lane as you soak in nostalgia with Auntie Pamela's luxurious floral bubbles, travel through time with Starcraft's skin softening blend and Banana Moon's celestial lava. Or take it up a notch with Slammer's citrus explosion for a timeless pick-me-up. Looking to feel fly? Narcotics herbal infusion will do more, will more than do the job. Get off your dial up pop in your favourite CD and let's go back in time with these retro hits for shower, bath and more. Um, yeah, so no shampoo, which is fine. You know, I'm 
I don't look after my hair very well as you can probably see it's looking very yellow at the minute <laughs> um but yeah I just uh chuck bleach or whatever colors I feel like chucking at it so you know it it'll grow back it's fine um so yeah I'm not desperate for another shampoo bar as well they can make my scalp a bit itchy as well some of the shampoo bars from Lush I do love new shampoo bars whenever I actually feel like looking after my scalp and giving it a good cleaner and rejuvenation that's the one I go for which is nice and cinnamony scented but yeah 2023 is calling party like it's 1995 I'm sure some people watching can't remember 1995 I can I wasn't that old but still um so yeah this is slammer bath bomb yeah it's a lot like other bath though but other bath is my favorite uh bath bomb of all time for sure like if i had to pick just one that i had you know if i could only have one that's what i'd go for so this is still a winner and it's citric acid fine sea salt lime oil litzy cubaba oil Sicilian lemon oil. Mm, so when I said it was like a Sicilian lemon yellowy, yeah, not wrong there. Gardenia extract. Uh, that's pretty much it. Gorgeous citrus. This is what I could smell when I was sniffing the box, and when I got the uh, tote out, it's definitely um, infused the whole box with this gorgeous citrusy smell. It's wonderful. Uh, what else have we got here? Auntie Pamela. I remember this being in the shops. Oh, yeah, it's uh, definitely floral. So we have got Rose Absolute, Vanilla Absolute, yeah. Yeah, so it's got that rosy, creamy, comforty kind of smell. Uh, ylang, uh, ylang Ylang, Gardenia Extract again, Chamomile, uh, Red Rose Petals, which have all crumbled off the top there. <laughs> yeah, nice, comforting bubble bath. I'm sure I'll be in need of a comforting bubble bath at some point soon, so that's a nice treat. Yeah, I would have preferred a shampoo bar over this just for, you know, value for money. And I love mango, so kind of, that's the only one I could remember from this. Although, actually, if I'd remembered that this was in here and this wasn't in here, I would have been gutted. So, yeah, that's a winner. Um, banana Moon Soap. I didn't vote for this. I'm sure I didn't. It just didn't sound like, yeah, it really smells like horse treats you know like the dried probably don't know <laughs> unless you've been around horses but like the the dried um horse treats that you can get that's what it's reminding me of what does it have in here uh rapeseed oil coconut oil soya yogurt fair trade bananas coconut oil again laudanum laud yeah laudanum resinoid Maybe that's what I can smell, I don't know. Sodium chloride, citric acid, gardenia extract. Everything has gardenia in today. Um, yeah. Maybe it's the bananas? Who can say? Um, but yeah. Not my favourite. I'm intrigued. It feels like it might be nice to wash with. We'll have to see. Narcotic. This is so good. I wish it was in a bigger bottle. I would give up the soap for this to be in a bigger bottle for sure. Uh, rose petal infusion, lavender water, fresh lemon juice, fine sea salt, lemongrass oil, ooh, sage oil, tea tree oil. Yeah, a nice mix of um, florals and um, herby nice smells and, and some citrusy smells. Yeah, let's give it another sniff, shall we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can really pick up the tea tree, but you can get the lavender there as well. It's a really interesting smell in a, in a really good way. And they've gone for the really old labels on everything as well. Check it out. That's so much fun. And last but not least, we have the facial cleanser, uh, the Starcraft facial cleanser, um, which has oat milk, almond oil, honeysuckle infusion, lavender flower infusion, lavender oil. So yeah, again, soothing, nice smells. So we've got like an interesting mix of sort of um, pick-me-ups and, and soothing smells. Yeah, so we've got Slammer and Narcotic to kind of pick you up. 
and then we've got some kind of more soothing, comforting, pamper me, self-care type things as well. It's definitely, yeah, I'd say a very pleasant mix of self-care type items. So yeah, this is a very pleasant uh, box. Nothing super exciting. I would be chuffed to pieces if this was in a bigger bottle. I think I would be excited if it was. Um, but with it just being so small, I love this. But with it being so small, I feel like I have to kind of ration it. And it, I, I don't feel as good about it as if I could just go to town with it, as it were. <laughs> um, but yeah, I should definitely try to make the most of this and get through these. I don't want to be one of the people who has like 100 bottles of Lush stuff just going off. It's not what we want. Best used fresh. I am, I'm such a hoarder. I'm, yeah. But I'm going to try my best not to do that. I'm rambling. Have I got any news? Yeah, so I went to... I didn't go anywhere. I was on the Lush website the morning of Boxing Day with a basket full of products, ready for it to hopefully go to 50% off. It did when I refreshed. I then went to purchase what I'd popped in my basket and everything disappeared from the basket. I refilled the basket, went to check out. Some of the things weren't available. Remove those from the basket. Uh, eventually... The two gifts that I really wanted that had been in my basket were no longer available. I was left with a couple of bath bombs and I was like, meh, forget about it. <laughs> so I didn't get anything in the Boxing Day sale, so I did save money, but I was properly gutted to not get. It was Lush Delights and Cheers, Love, Smile and Be Happy gifts that I really, really wanted. And yeah, half price of those would have been wonderful because I was very excited to try the um, the pear soap. Um, so that just looked gorgeous. Um, and I really wanted the Cheers Love Smile and Be Happy, especially as Karma Cream was in there. However, since the disaster that was the Boxing Day sale, Lush have emailed to say that the, they're bringing back a few products. I think it is King of Skin Body Butter, Karma Cream Body Lotion and Grass Shower Gel. So I can treat myself to Karma Cream soon whenever i like i think they're dropping on the 4th of january um uh that's on the app and then slightly later in some of their shops and online in general i think so that is worth looking out for if you're a fan of king of skin um grass shower gel or karma cream um i think i'll probably grab some grass shower gel because i do like it karma cream Definitely, I've been rationing the tiny amount that I have left. Um, I've just been using it as hand cream. So yeah, I'm very pleased that I can actually um, get that again. The only other place you could get the Karma Cream year round was if you invested like 40 quid in getting the Lush Kitchen gift box, um, which I had been contemplating doing at some point when I did run out of the small amount that I've got left. I'm really pleased I don't have to do that because the two bath products that were in there is Mrs. Whiffy and Softy or something. They, they didn't sound like they were up my street. Intergalactic shower gel sounds nice, but again, meh. So yeah, it would really be spending 40 quid just for that small tub of Karma Cream. But hopefully they'll be doing like the big tubs of Karma Cream as well. Hopefully they'll have it in a range of sizes. I'm not sure, but they did say it was backed by very popular demand, which I believe. Um, yeah, that all sounds fab. Let me know if you managed to successfully get anything in the sales. Let me know if you went to the shop in person, because that sounds daunting. It's a bit of a trek from here, and we ended up hosting family here on Boxing Day, so I wasn't about to rush out shopping anywhere <laughs> that morning. But yeah, oh, and other news. Other news. Uh, Lush, in the same email, they messaged about the returning products they've also got a gift box hoppy new year and that has flying fox shower gel so very tempted to get that because i do love the flying fox smell does anyone remember the temple balm flying fox temple balm the original so good i wish they'd bring that back um i love that it, it works so well as a solid perfume as a body spray flying fox it's kind of like lust very overpowering as a temple balm or a solid perfume beautiful um yeah, so that has that in and a slice of Karma Soap, classic, love Karma Soap, so might be treating myself to that at some point before that goes out. It's just a Happy New Year gift, so 
I don't know how long I'll be hanging around for, maybe till the end of um, the Valentine's period. Um, I think they have announced what the Valentine's items are, um, but I've not looked into that as yet. Um, and the other New Year product is, because it's going to be the Year of the Rabbit, Chinese New Year, um, they've got a rabbit bath bomb that's beautiful and golden. Looks like it makes the bath waters of orange, which I've said is not my favourite, but it looks... Well, it sounds lovely. The, this, this fragrance, I can't remember what's in it. I remember thinking, yes, please, to that one. So yeah, there's definitely more lush treats on the horizon. If I can save up some money. New Year's resolution, make some more money. Um, so I'm going to see if I can sell some old clothes on Depop and things, because this house is fit to bursting with stuff that I don't need. So it's clear out time. New Year, New You, all that jazz. Um, new Year, more organised me at least. I'm waffling. This was a lovely box. Um, it's got me feeling quite positive for the New Year. Um, the Slammer fragrance, I can, it's just my room smells of it now. Um, it's definitely picking me up. Narcotic sounds lovely for the uh, cold, wintry months ahead of us dark cold wintry months this sounds fab i'm just gonna pop that in my bathroom cabinet right away and try using it to remove the mascara i've got on i don't wear makeup much anymore especially since the pandemic i just that completely went out of the window but i'm gonna try wearing some more makeup in the new year that might be kind of a fun resolution to have just because i do miss playing with makeup i need to have a soothing bubble bath at some point soon Ooh, other news just very quickly my sister got me the giant snow fairy bubble bar. Well, she got me. She got me and the family. So um, I put that in the kids' bath last night. They loved it. Um, along with some bath crayons that my uncle got for them. So yeah, bath times are a lot of fun at the minute, for sure. Um, and this banana soap. I think I'm going to put that in the bath. It really just reminds me of, like, animal food. <laughs> Dried animal food. I'm going to have to see what it smells like using it. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm just going to get this used up and out of the way. Or I might chop it in half, see how I like it. If I don't like it at all, give the other half to someone else who might appreciate it. But yeah, overall, pretty decent box. I'm happy with that. Um, I think I'm happier with this than I was with the December box, to be fair, even though it was 29 High Street. Actually, on, on reflection, 29 High Street, not my favourite smell. I hadn't smelled it before. It's okay, it's nice, it's lushy, but yeah, not my favourite, controversial, but not my favourite. November box, that's up there for sure. And February box, that looks amazing. Um, so if you've not seen the vote for that, um, that should be up by the time I'm posting this. And I think the vote and the sign up ends at like the 5th of January, I believe. Definitely check out the February box. It looks heavenly. Um, if you're into rose and florals and the more um the sexy smells and the soothing smells and it doesn't sound like they go together but yeah those kind of um luxurious products definitely check out that i think it's going to be a good one but yeah thank you so much for watching i'm sorry i'm so waffly but um yeah i really hope you're having a fantastic start to the new year um happy new year everyone speak to you soon bye, -bye.